here we've got uh, an old go-kart that my friend uh, pretty much just gave to me. It used to be hers in high school and college. She just let it sit outside. You can see it got pretty crusty. This is all rusted pretty good. We got, we got this off. Loosen the motor mounts. Move the motor back. Took the tension off this. And then pulled this off. We're gonna need a new chain though. Rusty. You can see right there. It's all broken. I apologize for not filming taking things apart, but I mean you just unbolt stuff. That's where I'm at. We just I was just unbolting pretty much everything. Um yeah, but I'll show you putting things get back together, probably. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, you guys, look at this innovation. The, I needed some way to get this rope not to pull itself back through. And tying a knot as tight as it came back through was really difficult. And I tried, like, making the end crispy. <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's enough, but I felt like that would just pull itself right through. So look at this. Look at how this little finish nail fits perfectly into the plastic there. If that's not engineering at its finest, I don't know what is. Look at that. Boom. Nothing, a lot of patience, and a little WD-40 won't fix. I just, I just pulled the oil drain plug. It's super easy on these. There's just one uh, bolt there. There's actually one on this side, too. So you can go from either side to get uh, the oil drain plug off these. And it also has the oil fill on both sides, too. Uh, depending on like where your motor's mounted, what's more convenient. So these motors take uh, 10W30 all year. It recommends 5W30 for winter use, um, but it says you can also um, use 10W30. I'm sort of just sending the oil. Um, you know, I couldn't actually figure out how much oil this engine wants, so I'm just gonna take a little guess. Oh yeah, that's coming right up there. I might have overfilled it, but you know, who really cares? Now we're gonna try to start it. Um, I'm about to go get some gas from our shed. I've made about, uh, whoa! like six trips to the shed already. Whoa, getting oil, um, oil again, a pan to let the oil drain into. Yeah, just about everything. And um, yeah, now we're getting gas. All right, we got some fuel in there. You want the tip of the spark plug to look sort of silvery again. Because when it's all black, that just means it's, it's gonna be a lot harder to get a spark or you won't even get a spark. So just sand down. Give it a little tightening. Spray a little starting fluid into the carb. Another go. 
she goes and then All right, so there's sort of a lot going on in here, but this bolt right here, I think if I loosen it, this can move up or down, and that basically stops the throttle from going any further in. So if I move it up, then maybe it'll idle at a higher, slightly higher RPM, and then it'll stay idling, maybe? <laughs> Worth a shot. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just tested it out after adjusting the, um, the idle, and it was on time lapse, and I didn't realize it, and I just got the biggest backfire out the exhaust right here it was insane i just saw a cloud with a little flame and it was it was pretty impressive for this also it seemed like it was very close to idling i'm gonna try starting it again um yeah i don't know it's not great If you enjoyed this video uh, please like it maybe subscribe uh, and then in the next video we're gonna get this thing all tuned up nicely uh, it's gonna be running well we're gonna put some new parts on it and uh, we're gonna be driving it so uh, make sure to go check that out um, keep an eye out for it that's why you should subscribe you should subscribe um, so yeah Stay tuned for that.